So there's normally a bit of a narrative about Filipinas and why they make such great partners. Now, when you watch a lot of these videos, there's inevitably a lot of the same things that come up over and over again. They talk about how beautiful Filipinas are. And let me tell you, they are. You just cannot walk five seconds anywhere in the Philippines without saying beautiful Filipinas. They talk about how kind and caring they are. They're very family oriented. They're loyal. They're faithful. They're really going to take such great care of you. On the other hand, I think so many of the guys come over here and they're maybe a bit older, maybe they're retired or getting close to that age. And they find that Filipinas, even that are quite younger, are really happy to get to know them, be in a relationship with them. Also true. Really, the list goes on and on. People talk about how supportive Filipinas are, how they'll cook and clean and really have more of traditional type of values and the type of relationship style that was pretty common in Western countries like 60 years ago. So it feels like a blast from the past for a lot of expat guys that come over here to the Philippines. Now, even myself, when I heard all these things before I moved to the Philippines, I was watching YouTube channels like Rike or Geo in the Philippines, guys that are still around today and really kind of the OGs of expat vloggers over here. And they would talk about a lot of these type of things. And I couldn't help but be more than a little bit interested. Now, when I came over here, what was my first reaction? Did I find that all of that was true? Yes, I did, actually, and probably then some. When I came over here, I was just really amazed by Filipinas, how different the culture was here, and I really felt that this would absolutely be a great place to meet a partner. Now, do I still think that? You know, fast forward, I started coming here in 2019, 2024 is about wrapping up over here. In other words, was my initial view of the Philippines and when I heard over here and when I still hear over here to this day from vloggers, the actual reality over here. Now that is a whole lot more of a complicated answer. I think my response is yes, but. <laughs> and to further qualify that, there's some absolute yeses, there's some yes buts, and there's some I don't think so. All right, so let's start off with the yeses. For me, are Filipinas beautiful? Absolutely. I mean, living over here to this day, it's like my neck hurts just trying to keep it straight because it's just hard to not notice how many beautiful Filipinas there are over here. Now, the interesting thing is I think that Filipino guy beauty standards are sometimes different than how foreigner guys look at Filipinas. So sometimes the Filipinas that foreigners are attracted to, local Filipino guys are like, Alrighty, if you think so. But beauty standards really are different culture to culture and for expat guys, without a doubt. I definitely concur that not only are there beautiful Filipinas, but I would just say per capita, like if you take a lot of countries and you just take 10 random women, the Philippines really does have a well above average amount of beautiful Filipinas over here. But of course, that's just step one in a relationship. So that's my unqualified yes. Now, the other thing I would say is an unqualified yes is there are a lot of Filipinas that are really happy to date in age gap relationships here. And for a lot of guys, that's a big thing. For me personally, I would rather date someone a bit closer to my age if possible. I've dated with a pretty big age range over here, 20s to 40s. However, I'm hoping one of these days I'll find my forever partner that is maybe 30s, 40s. I'm 51, and so I think that ideally somebody would be a bit closer to my age instead of a bit further away. At the end of the day, I don't think those things matter as much as if the person is really a right fit. In Western culture, people tend to look down on larger age gaps, but let's face it, in the West, people mostly date the same age or within a couple of years difference. And how are those relationships doing over there? About 50% of them wind up in divorce. And before it even gets to divorce, how many boyfriend-girlfriend relationships break up? A lot. So just simply saying that if you meet somebody the same age, that relationship is better set up for success. I just don't think the statistics bear that out. However, having a big age gap is also going to introduce other problems. But there's something that I find happens here. I think that when people meet uh, mostly an expat guy from the West, typically a Filipina. Even if there's a big age gap, both already know that they have cultural differences, they have age differences. And I think that makes the successful relationships over here, they're gonna work on those things a bit harder because they know they already have those things to overcome. Whereas I think in the West, people just assume we're the same culture, we're the same age, and they might not work as hard on things as they do over here. 
I absolutely see very successful relationships uh, over here with big AG apps. I think of, you know, Mike's Philippine Retirement Channel and Janet, pretty decent uh, AG app, 30 some years. I, I forget exactly, but you know, I know those guys in person. They have a great relationship. I think of Mark and Jen from Every Man Has a Story, Every Woman Has a Story, 40 year age gap. They just had a baby. I, I saw them when I was over in Bakong not that long ago and I've met them in person a number of times. Very happy couple. Even Mark is so happy as an older dad over here. Are these normal situations? Not exactly, but who cares? They're happy. So I would say these are two things that bloggers talk about, both the beauty of Filipinas and age gap relationships that are pretty common over here and they work just fine. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But for me, I'm always happy for couples that are doing well, regardless of those type of factors. All right, let's look at some of the yes, but examples here. Filipinas are trustworthy, loyal. Yes, that's very true with a great Filipina, but it's just not always gonna be the case over here. And let's face it, a lot of expat guys over here are also not trustworthy and loyal. So, you know, that kind of goes both ways over here. But I think if you find a great Filipina, nobody's gonna be more trustworthy, more loyal, more faithful. They're gonna support you for better, for worse, richer or poorer, especially the richer, just kidding. But I think that that's absolutely true. If you find a good Filipina, there's a million examples that you're gonna wind up seeing over here as well, where it's quite the opposite of that. There's gonna be something else going on and the person isn't trustworthy at all. So I think over here, you really got to take time to truly get to know somebody. Not a week, not a month, not a few months. It really takes a long time to get to know somebody over here. More than in your own country? I think so. I think with cultural differences, with power dynamic differences, with money differences, all those things could lead to pretty complicated situations over here. And so time is the truth teller. You know, if you find someone that's trustworthy and faithful and loyal over time, then you probably found somebody that is golden and everything you've heard is true. However, I find pretty early on, if you don't have your rose colored glasses on, if you really look at things clearly, really look at not what somebody says, but what their actions are, you're gonna be able to tell the red flags, maybe even the first day, but definitely within a period of months. The longer you take time to really get to know somebody, the better. Also in the yes but category, I would put things like being you know, traditional, taking care of the house, cooking, cleaning, all those type of things. Overwhelmingly, yes. I really think that Filipinas are very traditional. However, there are some that are just really looking for the guy to take care of them. And that's something else that you're gonna really see pretty quickly as well if you observe things. I think a lot of Western guys are used to Western culture that has more feminist values, you know, in a lot of ways, where people are kind of expected that things are gonna be equal. Maybe both are gonna cook, both are gonna wash the dishes, both are gonna clean. You know, people kind of help each other out in a quasi equal kind of way. You know, I don't think it really works like that in reality in Western culture. But guys over here, myself included, really love that it's a bit more old school and where the guy's gonna be the provider and the woman is gonna take care of things in other ways. For me, it's just a bit more complimentary and it works out really well. But is every Filipino like that? I would say most are, but you know, it just really comes down to her motivations. Why is she with you? You know, are her intentions just to really sincerely meet a great partner and to think of you, take care of you as of course, if you're a good guy, you should do the same back. Or is she really just wanting for her life to be a bit better? So the challenge in a developing country is there's so many people that are struggling over here. And I think that sometimes foreigners are seen as a bit of a meal ticket to a better life. But that's a complicated issue. And I think that that does pervade things over here. It does make things more of a challenge here. There's some guys that are gonna say that all relationships are transactional. And on certain levels, I suppose that's true. But I think what they really mean is that all relationships are a financial transaction type of relationship over here. And I don't believe that at all. You know, I think you really just have to observe when you're out with somebody, you know, how much do you spend and is she happy for you to spend? Or is she kind of saying, no, that's too much. Still spend what you want to take care of the person. But I really think you can see somebody's motivation in terms of how they're responding to you and how they want to look out for you with those different types of things over here. All right. So I also mentioned that there's just some no's. That it's just simply not true what you've heard. And, and what I would say with that is that sometimes on vlogs, people present it as if everybody's just amazing over here. And that's, that's just simply not true. I wish it was, but in every culture, there's amazing people, there's not so amazing people, and the Philippines is no exception. So again, my, my greatest advice that 
there will always be something you will not listen to because you will have on your rose colored glasses is that you just need time to truly get to know somebody. Not everybody is gonna be your ideal match over here. There's a reason why there's guys over here that date and date and date and they don't ever settle down. There's different reasons for that. Sometimes they don't wanna settle down, but other times I definitely know good guys out there, they really do. So I think it's worth looking at, you know, what are some of those factors that those good guys over here that really are sincere about finding a great partner have in finding that partner? One I think is the communication side of it. You know, culturally, we communicate different. We deal with conflict different. We deal with stress different. We deal with anger different. In Western culture, people are just way more verbal. Over here, people aren't quite as much. So the, some of those things are a challenge. Other times it's just maturity, you know, really finding somebody that matches where they're at in life. Often that is because they're going for somebody that is just too young and they don't have enough uh, life experience. However, there's a lot of Filipinas over here that are super young and super mature, more so than some of the older Filipinas here as well. However, on the whole, I think if guys were to look at Filipinas that are a little bit older, they probably would have a better chance at success. And I know Filipinos sometimes will criticize foreigners over here because they say, why don't you just find, you know, an older, you know, Filipina that's more financially stable and has had some success in life. And that's because they're really hard to find. And when you do, they're mostly gonna be with their children or with their families and just not quite as easy to approach as someone that's younger and out with friends or by themselves or just working in a retail store or something like that. So it is a little bit of a challenge if you're a foreigner guy over here and you wanna meet somebody that you know is hardworking or has a bit more years or life experience. It's just not as easy as it looks like in the Philippines. So all in all, I gotta say, if I really look at everything I've heard and everything I experienced, I still have hopes of finding a great long-term Filipino partner over here. I've been through some stuff and I've learned a lot. However, I would just say it's not quite as easy to find a great partner over here as vloggers may make out, but it's still absolutely possible. I still have hope. I haven't given up yet. As always, guys, appreciate you taking the time to watch. Don't forget to comment, join the conversation, and have a great day.